<laughs> how far we have come. Not merely the beginning of the modern age, when our forebears astonished the world with the first thinking machine. To create an artificial being has been the dream of man since the birth of science. Artificial being is a reality, a perfect simulacrum, articulated in limb, articulate in speech, and not lacking in human response. Ah! Oh, mother, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? No, I'm, I'm not, and I'm not your mother, so get off me! and even pay memory response. <laughs> How did that make you feel? Angry, shocked? I don't understand. What did I do to your feelings? You did it to my... Tell me, what is love? Love is first widening my eyes a little bit and quickening my breathing a little and warming my skin and touching the And so on, exactly. A sensory toy. I propose that we build. The artificial being has reached its highest form. Universally adapted mecca, the basis for hundreds of models serving the human race in all the multiplicity of daily life. That's far enough. But we have no reason to congratulate ourselves. We are rightly proud of it. But what does it amount to? Sensuality simulators, the word that I used was love. Love like the love of a child for its parents. I propose that we build a child who will genuinely love the parent or parents it imprints on with a love that will never end. A child substitute mecca but a mecca with a mind, with neuronal feedback. You see, what I'm suggesting is that love will be the key by which they acquire a kind of subconscious, never before achieved, an inner world of metaphor, of intuition, of self-motivated reasoning, of dreams. who can love. You're, you're not my mother. Look, you, you really want to know how it went last night? Do I look like I'm your mother? No. With all this animus existing against Mechas today, it isn't simply a question of creating love, but isn't the real conundrum. Can you get a human to love them back? Ours will be a perfect child caught in a freeze frame, always loving, never ill, never changing. With all the childless couples yearning in vain for a license, our little Mecca will not only open up a completely new market, it will fill a great human need. But you haven't answered my question. What responsibility does that person hold toward that Mecca in return? Well, a question, isn't it? The oldest one of all. But in the beginning, didn't God create Adam to love him?